What's up YouTube? So recently I've been doing a bit of work to the AU and I was filming all the stuff that I was doing but unfortunately most of the footage messed up so instead I'm going to be filming a little bit of a car update and just showing you what I've done. The first thing I did was install a tow bar. I'll quickly throw it up on the hoist and take the back bumper off and show you how it all goes. So this is what it looks like without the bumper on. So this tow bar is a genuine Ford one. We got it from the wreckers. Already got a bit of sand in there. So when I got it, it had a bit of rust on there. So I sanded that all off and then painted it black. Came up pretty nicely. And then I just got a brand new tow ball and put it on. So that was really easy to install. That's all it is for this side and for another side as well but before I mounted it all up I sanded all of this because there was a little bit of surface rust starting to show so I sanded that back and repainted it white so the next thing is a trailer plug so all I did was run it along here you can't really see that well yeah I cable tied it here here and it comes around went through that hole there around the back of the exhaust hanger and then it goes up in there so where the jack goes is where um, the harness is for the trail plug or whatever they're called it's just wrapped up in here the one that has nothing plugged into it that's the one so I found originally there was no grommet here and I found one in the shed that fits perfectly so I was so stoked on that yeah it just plugs in here and then runs down there and comes out near where the exhaust is another thing I noticed while I was working here is that this rear muffler is destroyed definitely need to do something about that I'm not sure if I should try fabricate my own exhaust or just buy one so that's definitely going to be a future video me changing the exhaust one more thing you have to like pull a piece out of the rear bumper for where the tow bar goes through the next thing i did was paint the wiper arms or whatever they're called but yeah painted those they looked really bad how they were so much better now i also painted the grill white it used to be silver another thing i've done to it is i put new headlights in the other ones just were really fogged over and one of them was like full of water. It's just easy to get new ones when they're that bad. The next thing I did was add a roof rack with two bike carriers. I'm pretty sure at the start of the year it was, I put on the roof racks with one bike holder. I put on before I went to the city with um, Brad and Angus, that's when we did the water bomb video. We went to Chadston, that's like a big shopping centre in Melbourne and there was like an undercover car park and it had like a big concrete thing. I had my dirt jumper up on there and I wasn't really thinking <laughs> and the bike hit into the top of the roof thing. That's where it hit against the roof right here. Did nothing to the bike at all apart from that. But it tore the whole roof rack off the roof bent some of the roof I know you probably can't tell but dinted all of this in and there's a big dent in the roof here where the bike fell on top of it yeah you can see the dent from here just there and where the roof rack hooks onto the roof it bent it all the way up so I had to bend that all back down and get it nice again so it didn't actually damage the roof rack itself some of the brackets got bent, see how it like kind of clamps in around that, it got bent out. So I just put it in the vise and squeeze them back together. I also modified the roof rack a little bit. What I did was cut the bars a lot shorter, so it actually comes nice. So it used to like hang out like to here. So here's one of the offcuts. It used to hang out that far. This was a bike carrier 
I used when I had the accident. I only used to have one and I recently bought that one for this video and installed it. But anyway, it got damaged quite a bit. This arm here got bent and it was like pointing way up. Bent that back down and got it to match the brand new one. So that's back to how it should be. Also, this thing here got bent. I bent it back so it works right, but it's still not perfect. It should go all the way in when you push it, but it doesn't quite yet. And also, this strap here snapped. I still have to get a new one, but for now I can use whatever I can come up with to hold the wheel down. I'll quickly show you how to put the bikes up. Just undo these straps first. Stand this up. Stand that all the way up. Grab the bike and lay it in like that to get it under the strap. Put it up against this little bracing. Lift that up. Push it down. And then tighten the straps up through the wheels. Just like that. You can also lock this here so you can't undo it. They also have like a little bike lock thing. It goes in here and you can lock it. And what you do is put it through your frame and I usually put it through the back wheel also. And then it just comes in here. And then you lock that there. It's pretty good. And to take it off, just undo the wheel straps. Pull that up, push it forwards, take the bike off. And then when you're driving, you push this all the way down. That's what that side doesn't do because I bent it. It only goes down that far, but still not bad. I wouldn't worry about it. I usually put the straps down and in just so they're not swinging around and then I pull that all the way in like that and so when I drive it doesn't really make any wind noise so I'm pretty stoked on that yeah can't go wrong so that's with both the bikes up on there seems to hold them really well I'm really happy it still works after the accident it took a bit of work to fix everything up but yeah seems to be good I went to Melbourne with it like this and had no issues. Another thing I did was put a new brake light switch up in there, which is that just there. The old one stopped working and the brake lights didn't work. So I think I've covered everything I've done so far to it. Now I'll talk about what I want to do in the future. First of all, I'm thinking about getting a wind fairing for the roof rack. I reckon they look pretty cool. I'm pretty sure it should work with this bike rack. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to look into it more. I'll probably get some new mirrors for it. I broke this one. It's just held on by a zip tie at the moment. I walked into it and snapped it off. It only used to be held in by a screw anyway. I'm going to repaint this rear bumper. It's not in good condition at all. As you can see. I'm gonna get a new front bumper and repaint it. This one's a bit damaged. Someone must have reversed into it or the dude must have drove into the back of someone. And yeah, thinking about doing the conversion. So I would need to get a new bonnet and grill. So I wanna repaint these. They're not very good at the moment. All the trims and that. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's all spotty and stuff. Just doesn't look good. Give that all a repaint. Probably tint the windows to a darker colour. This is only the stock tint. I'm thinking about getting the clear side indicators. I don't really like the orange that much. A clear one would look a lot better in my opinion. I'm thinking about repainting these black or I'm kind of thinking about painting them white but I'm unsure. Probably if I didn't have the roof rack, I would have painted it white, but kind of looks alright black with the roof rack. 
I don't know, comment down below what you think. Um, I've kind of talked about all um, other modifications I want to do to it, but I definitely need to make it faster now. Added the extra weight, I need to make up for that with some performance mods I reckon. I haven't really talked about why I added the tow bar. I added it so I can always put an extra bike rack on the back and also so I can tow trailers. But the main reason is I want to get my boat license and go out tinny bashing and stuff. So now I can with that. I'm still not sure what I want to do with it yet. I kind of want to put nice rims on it and lower it. But for practicality, it'd probably be better for me to make it more off-road type. So I'm kind of stuck with that still. But at the moment, I'd rather make it more straight. So for the inside, still to finish off with the iPad install. Still got the stereo on the floor. So that'll probably be the next car video I do. Tidying all this up, finishing it off, making it a bit nicer and that. Upgrading the stock speakers. And in the back too. I kind of want to put a rubber mat in here instead of the carpet because as you can see the dogs always jump in here and stuff. Um, also I want to put like a little fridge in here. That would be so sick. I don't know if I'll do that yet but that would be really cool if I did. Um, yeah, that's about it for now. Well, that's all I can think of. It'd be so sick if I went like over the top and turboed it, changed it to a manual transmission. Like that'd be so sick, but I don't know if that's like a good idea really. It's only a $900 car. It goes well. I drive it through the city and all that, have no issues. So I kind of want to keep it reliable, but also want to make it really cool. I don't know, comment what you reckon. That's about it for this video. If you have any video ideas, drop them down in the comments below. And also if you have a suggestion of what I should do to the car, let me know also. It sucks that most of the footage messed up for this video, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.